Okay, so from what we saw just then, two sort of types of objects. One is an actual magnet, one is a non-magnet, um, and they both went through this copper tube. One went distinctively slower, and one distinctively quicker. So in terms of explaining how this works, uh, we're looking at a thing called Lenz's Law. Uh, Lenz's Law states that um, the back EMF we generate from a change in flux, so this is our magnet. As it goes through our metal conductor, there is a change in magnetic flux, essentially the magnetic field uh, cutting through this conductor is moving, it's changing. When that happens, we generate an EMF that's moving backwards, so an electromotive force. This electromotive force will create an um, electric current. That electric current, as we know, will generate a magnetic field, and that magnetic field is going to oppose the original change. So if the original motion of my magnet is to come down this tube here, then according to Lenz's law, the induced current that's occurring in the copper tube here, that's going to try and push the magnet up. And so that's why we see the magnet get slower. Let's try and have a look at what this looks like uh, from the tip of our tube. Okay, so from the tip of our tube, we have our magnet. Let's have a look. Okay, let's try that again. So, on there, and go. So, there's that. Okay, and uh, that's how you explain Lenz's Law. Um, so, if you like any of these kind of videos, uh, follow and subscribe. Um, there's other videos, and if you want to know where we can use Lenz's Law, look no further than this application here, which shows you magnetic braking.